Hi guys, and today is time to pick the team for the final league game of the 2021 slash 22 season. It's time to pick the team to play more on the final day, so let's get started. In goal, Anthony Patterson. The race nice was obviously Patterson being our first choice goalkeeper for the second half of this season. And to be honest, he's been he's had a really good like second half to the season. He kept seven clean seats in um he, I think 19 games, but to be fair, but goalkeeper who's playing his full season, like first season in senior football, has been a great season for Anthony Patterson. Hopefully, he can round it off with a clean seat and obviously guaranteeing the playoffs. So, yeah. Right, centre back Bailey Wright, the race my because I think he had another solid game against um, Rotherham. It's a bit similar to what I've been complaining about him, to be honest. I think at this level, he's a great defender, don't get me wrong. But the amount of long balls he tries, it 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 is a joke, joke as he like just plays long balls and aims at no one. But like I said, in terms of defending, I would argue he's our best centre half, and 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 his contract's up at the end of the season. I do hope that we keep him. So yeah. Um. Then in the middle, Danny Bat the race match because I I think Danny Bat had a decent game against against Rotherham. He like just like didn't do anything special, but he like um headed the ball away or anything like that. And I think the last two or three games he's been good, and that's what I just want from a centre back, a good solid defender. He's got experience and stuff like that. So yeah. Left centre back. This where a bit of beer comes in, probably, but. If Dengar Serkin was fit, I would have went for Dengar Serkin. But left centre back, I'll, I'll stick with Calvin Dodd. The reason why is because, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought Calvin Dodd was tracked the Kong on Tuesday against Rotherham. Um, but if you consider everything, that was his first start in, in a few months and stuff. Well, and he had a great first half of the season and stuff like that. And I think he's died out a bit, like, because he got the. Like ran down to the ground and the Johnson left Pierce and got a rest by our snail from February to to when he came against Cambridge. I will give him a I will play him and hopefully he can end the season well well before he have to go back to Manchester City in the summer. So yeah. Right, win back Lyndon Goots. The reason I could actually thought Goots obviously had that remarkable game against um Cambridge last weekend. I thought he was our best player against um Kate what Rotherham as well, as he was the only one who let's face it was coming and he like fresh going forward and he was like pretty dangerous and I think we can all agree if we had to if one thing was going to happen, especially in that first half half and probably in the second, it was Lyndon Goat. Try him for lucky to miss out, but I think that Goat's best side is on the right if you get the main so play player and probably our best side at win right side at win back. So play your best right side at win back in a right wing back so yeah. First thing to make Corey Evans the reason why is because I think Corey Evans like had another solid game again. Rather than probably for me our second best player behind Lyndon Coates and it's good to see that Corey Evans has had a decent like um ends up saying after all the criticism he's had this day and I will say it, will Corey Evans be the captain that takes us back to the championship? Maybe, if we make the playoffs, so yeah. Then next to him, I will go for Elliot Embleton. The reason why I do is I don't know how Elliot Embleton got dropped against um, Rotham, as, as he was another one who had a sensational game against Cambridge, scored that, that, that goal that I still don't know if he meant it or not. But I will play him next to... Um, Corby Evans one to get Alex Pritz on and I'll I'll go to him and minute and two is because that's where he's actually been playing when he has been playing because he's went because what he's normally went with is Evans Embleton with all nine there. So I think that and I think Embleton's been really good from playing there. So I would con play him there, so yeah. Left wing back Pat Roberts, the race mind because I would bring him back. As I thought, to be fair, he's probably kind of lucky to get dropped, especially after getting the assist against Cambridge. And I thought, even though Jack Clark did come on getting us technically the assist for the own goal to be fair, I think he was unlucky to not even come on. But I will play him at left wing back as he had a solid game against Cambridge and hopefully he can continue against the team that, that, to be fair, will have to go for it to cut the final for the lights. So, yeah. Number 10 behind the striker, I'll go for Alex Pritchard, the rage man, because like I've always said, on his day, he's Sunderland's best player. 
and probably he's one of the league's best players. As he, he's been really good for us this season after we found his feet and hopefully he can have another good game to like, put him a thing in the playoffs. So yeah. First strike and Nathan Broadhead. The reason why because of course it, it looks like it's a bit of an injury doubt. Doubt like um um from after he got taken off against um Rotherham. But if he's fit, Nathan Broadhead plays as he's being as much as he's being injury prone I missed the majority of this like most of the season. He's been fantastic for us and he is a match winger and he's someone who if he's fit you want on the pitch so yeah. And striker, second striker Ross Stewart, our player of the season, 24 goals in the league. What a season he's had, and I don't know where we would be if we didn't have Ross Stewart, so yeah. On the bench, Thorben Hoffman, Dry Hume, Dan Neal, Luke Nine, Jack Clark, Ian McGeady returning at the match to the squad since November, and Jim Matetti, so yeah. So what is my score for Dixon? Probably the thing you've been waiting for. Do I think something will make the top six? I think we will. I think it'll be a Morecambe 1, Sunderland 2. I'm going to go for Alex Pritchard and Ross Stewart to score. Pritchard to score the winner to the playoff. Before I go, any Morecambe fans who might be who might bump into this video, I do think they'll stay up as I think that both Blake Wood and Julian will get beat. And just to let you know, there will be like a pretty much a match review, maybe not a match review, talking about the season after the game. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, view, comment and see ya. Yeah.